the Hafken guy here, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for this video. I'm basically going to be explaining a fix to a problem that I recently had. That problem was basically I would take my uh, game footage from Shadowplay that I recorded and try to put it into my editing software, which is Adobe Premiere Pro, and it wouldn't really work at all. In terms of like the audio would skip constantly, it wouldn't match their mouse or anything like that. If you're watching this video, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about or something similar. So basically, this is going to be a fix to that. The first step you're going to do is you're going to download this program called Handbrake. I'll leave a link in the description. It's a free download, very easy to download, no, no problems with it at all. So anyway, once you download it, you're going to go ahead and go into it. And you're going to go up here to the top left and you're going to hit Source. And you're going to go down here to File, Open a Single Video File. And you're going to locate your file, mine are already right here. You're going to locate the file that is basically causing you troubles in your editing software. For me, it was this one right here. So you're going to double click that, and it's going to load it up here. And you're going to come down here to Destination File, and you're going to hit Browse. This is basically creating a new location and a new name for the file that is going through Handbrake. So basically what I do is I always save it to the exact same location so that's easy to find. But then I'll name it something in all caps so that I know that that's the one that went through Handbrake. So like this one right here, I named The Walking Dead Michonne Part 4 YT for YouTube. So you can just name it Edit Ready or something like that. You can just hit Save, and then it'll save it right there. And then once you do that, you're going to come down here to the Video tab. And right here is where everything is going to basically be fixed. Whenever I researched, I basically figured out that Shadowplay records in a variable frame rate as to which whenever you put something into editing software, Adobe at least, because I work with Adobe, that needs stuff to be at a constant frame rate. So what you're going to do is you're going to change it from variable frame rate to constant frame rate. You're going to come over here to quality. I usually don't mess with it too much. I just put it about between 20 and 25 around there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to optimize video. And you're not going to touch it at all. You're going to leave it at very fast. Basically, all my videos still record at 1080p, 60 frames per second, so everything's perfectly fine there. And you're basically done after that. But I recommend making a user preset, so basically you don't have to re-enter all this stuff every time you come down here. Or come down here, I guess. Come into Handbrake. But, so basically you can just click on that and then it'll load all your personal settings. So, as you see, mine's 23, constant frame rate, very fast. So once you're completely done with that, you're going to come up here to start. You're going to hit start. It's going to say preparing to encode. And it's going to go ahead and encode it. This could take some time, including, of course, the size of the file that you're trying to encode in Handbrake. But anyway, once you're done with that, your file is going to be saved where you chose it to be saved to. So you see mine is going to be saved right here because I called it edit ready once it's done. But this is for video purposes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys The Walking Dead Michonne Part 4, the YouTube Ready one that I've already put through Handbrake, and show you that it works now. So basically before, all the audio would be off track, but now it's perfectly fine. There's no skipping any audio, everything's fine. This video is actually uploaded to my channel. If you wanted to check it out there, just to make sure that it even works after you upload it to something else. But anyway, that's basically it. If you have any more questions, just Leave one down in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, y'all ready to pairs.